Welcome, in this video I'm going to be installing Homebrew on this 2024 MacBook Pro with the M4 processor. This is running Sequoia 15.2. Now this is my first time installing Homebrew. I've been using Mac ports for years and I wanted to try out Homebrew and I figured I'd record this in case someone else was interested in installing this. They can watch my video and get an idea of what's involved. So it's hard to know the exact experience of a person watching this. So I may give more detail than necessary. I'm guessing for some I may not give enough detail. So on my screen here I have two windows up. On the left I have a web browser, on the right I have a terminal. In the web browser I've gone to the brew.sh website. So to bring a terminal up on the Mac, the easy way to do it is to hit command space and then just type in terminal. So on Sequoia I drag my windows over. Now you can drag it to the right side or you can hold down option and it will auto highlight the area and that's how I got the split screen here. So to install this I'm going to copy this. So there's a little copy icon where it says install homebrew. I'll go to my terminal and I'll hit paste. So at this point, I'm going to make this screen bigger. I'll hit enter. It wants my password, so I'll enter that in. This is telling us what it's going to install. So this is going to install this in opt homebrew. It says the Xcode command line tools will be installed. So I'll hit enter here. So now it's going to start the install. So I may speed parts of this up. Okay, it finished up. So we have a warning here. It says opt homebrew bin is not in your path. So if we wanted to run something with homebrew right now, it's not going to work. So I'll actually open up a second terminal. And if I type brew, it's not going to find that. So under next steps here, it says run these commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So I'll just select these and I'll copy them with command C and I'll paste with command V. I'll hit enter. So now if I type cat space tilde forward slash dot z profile, we can see it added that eval line in there. So let's try this here. Okay, so brew is working. Now if you have other terminals open, you may need to close and reopen those to get this to work. So in order to use this, you're going to want to look at the documentation online, but we can do some basic things here easily. So if I want to install wget, now if I type wget, nothing comes up. I can type brew space install space wget, I'll hit enter. And now it's going to install wget. So let's type wget now. And wget works. Let's clear the screen. We'll type brew help. So let's try brew update. So now it's going to update homebrew. It says already up to date. Now if I want to search for a package, I can type brew space search space and then I'll type the name of the package so I'll type jpeg optim and here we have that package so I can type brew install jpeg optim and that will install now I can type jpeg optim and it needs an argument to run let's try something else there's software I like called advanced comp so I just searched for advance and advance comp came up. Let's try capital A. Same thing. So I don't know how smart this search is, but it does seem to be able to do partial word searches and it doesn't seem to be case sensitive. So that's how to install Homebrew on a MacBook Pro with the M4 processor. So this process should work the same for other Macs. I'm guessing it will work the same on older operating systems too. I found that to be a very easy process. This was much faster than installing Mac ports. Now there might be advantages and disadvantages to each. But having used Mac ports for so many years, I figured it was time to try Brew out for a while. And I'm still running Mac ports on my other machines. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.